If you read about yourself over time and people tell you you're wonderful and you surround yourself with people who aren't honest, the ego is a very dangerous thing and should be kept in a box under the bed. My dad was an amazing artist, but um, he wasn't allowed to uh, fulfill that dream because I think his parents felt that being a, a cartoonist or an illustrator wasn't a proper job. So he um, had to work in his father's butchers. I remember seeing his pictures on the wall at home when we were, when we were young, and he was really good. And he took us to see Star Wars at, in Leicester Square when it opened. And obviously I was completely you know, inspired by this film. So I started drawing my own Star Wars comics <clears throat> and drawing pictures of Chewbacca. And, you know. and that's when I started to, uh, when I started drawing. I think I was quite a, a, a fidgety child. I think I was noisy and I was probably a bit of a pain. I was always distracting the rest of the class and I talked too much. And when I'd sit at home and I would draw, I was quiet and I was content and I was lost. And I would do it for hours and hours and I, would, you know, I, I wouldn't even realize what the time was. And, and it's still the same even today. I mean, I'm not, I'm not fidgety and <laughs> too annoying anymore. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's trying to find this moment where you're lost in your work. I mean, you can always drink a nice bottle of wine or, you know, there are other ways of sort of drifting off into a wonderful place. But for me, it's this. The drawing just happens. Everything just happens. And suddenly you reach a point where it's, it's perfect. And, and every move you make with your hand and every thought you're having, and it's growing in front of you. And there are no mistakes. And this is a wonderful, as you know, for an artist, this is a wonderful, a wonderful place to be. If I get an hour like that, I'm quite happy. But then you say, I'm not so selfish. I, you know, I used to read that Picasso, not that I'm comparing myself to Picasso, but he used to have a rule that, that when he went to his studio and he shut his door, nobody was allowed to interrupt him. It didn't matter what was happening. Nobody should interrupt him. And unfortunately, I, I let myself be interrupted far too much. It's ridiculous the amount of uh, barriers you, you, you subconsciously build up for yourself before you can get started on the, the thing that you're really passionate about, you know. Oh, but I can't start until the washing up's done and I should uh, change the cat litter or... And then by the time you're ready to start, you're sort of, the moment's gone. <laughs> I haven't reached the point where I think I'm good at this. That's, that's the drive. I know that it's in me to be really good at it. And I think I've come close a few times, but um, I don't usually look at things I've completed and, and, and feel content. Which then means the next time you, the next thing you start, you go into it with that attitude that um, at this time, I'm gonna get it right. And that's, that's the drive really, each time. But it's, but it's it, it doesn't mean that it's, you know, it, it's a, a thankless task, <laughs> you, you hate everything you do, but it's, um, I'm, never, I'm never content. Maybe I never will be, but um, I secretly know that that, that that is what makes you grow.